It's a story you will see only on 7 Action News. A story about the beloved Detroit sports hero Vladimir Konstantinov, who helped the Red Wings win the 1997 Stanley Cup, ending a 42-year drought. Days after that win, of course, Konstantinov suffered a catastrophic injury in a limo crash. The city rallied around him, saying they believed he would live a full life. He inspired the Red Wings to a second Stanley Cup win, celebrating the win with his teammates from a wheelchair. No longer able to play the game he loved. Now Vladimir Konstantinov's care team is asking for your help. As 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell tells us tonight in this exclusive report, they believe life as he knows it is at risk due to a change in law. Better out, out to the point, Konstantinov shot, score! One of the best defensemen in the NHL. And he's level. By Konstantinov. Vladimir Konstantinov's aggressive plays helped win the Red Wings the Stanley Cup for the first time in 42 years in 1997. This goes Thank you. Then, as the team celebrated, six days later, tragedy. Breaking news tonight two of our hockey town heroes are in the hospital and they're in pretty serious condition. Konstantinov and the team masseur, Sergei Manatsikhanov, suffered life changing injuries when a limo crashed in Birmingham. Konstantinov went from lifting a Stanley Cup above his head to in a coma for two long months fighting for his life. We hope and pray that our, our teammate Vladdy and, and Natsa will, will uh, recover and, and things will go well. I saw him say his first words after the coma. I saw him to his first physical therapy after the coma. Jim Belanca is Konstantinov's friend and attorney. And to see him then and to see him now is a miracle. He is incredible. Linda Crum is his medical case manager. She says he beat the odds thanks to a combination of determination and excellent physical therapists who still work with him every week. Lean forward a little bit. Lean forward to me a little bit. She coordinates caregivers who help him eat, dress, and get out in the community. I've seen him do community events. He posed for a picture with my little brother who was terminally ill at a charity softball game years ago. Konstantinov's care team has defended his privacy, not allowing a news crew into his Oakland County apartment. But now something has changed. I don't think he's gonna survive. That's how strongly I feel. In 2019, lawmakers passed legislation to lower insurance rates. It was a large bill. One provision slashed reimbursement for the care of the catastrophically injured, like Konstantinov, by 45 percent. Vladimir Konstantinov is a hero to so many people who have followed his journey. I remember when the accident happened, watching coverage with my little brother. He was 10 years old when he wrote a book about how he believed Konstantinov would live a full life. And his team says these changes in the law are putting that at risk. His care is 24 hours a day. It's not just a random amount. It's prescribed by his physical medicine and rehab doctor. Can his family afford it if this cut happens? Oh, no. he, he, has, he has a very small amount of money. I'm worried that he's going to lose his care. The Michigan Catastrophic Care Fund is something every insured Michigan driver paid into for years. It provides care for about 18,000 people who suffered devastating injuries. Its recent statement from June 2020 shows it has $23.4 billion and liabilities of approximately $21 billion to be paid out over future years. Fund managers tell me the amount of money in the fund has grown over the last year, thanks to investments. And the thought that they're going to deprive literally thousands of people of the care that they've built their lives on and been successful of is abominable. So what will happen to the billions of dollars drivers paid over the years if it's not spent helping people with catastrophic injuries? Take a look at this. Tucked inside the no-fault reform bill passed by the Republican State House and Senate and Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer is a law ordering the state to rebate money to insurers if it grows to exceed 120 percent of liabilities. The law says the rebate to insurers will help them give drivers a discount. I find it hard to believe they're going to give it back to us. And frankly, I don't want it if it means that people like Vladdy are no longer going to get the services they need to survive. Konstantinov's caregivers are now not being paid in full. Go off, do it. Oh. His team says soon the 45% cut 
could force caregiver wages to drop to approximately minimum wage. His care team says he may not be able to continue living in his own home due to the law. He has lived in a nursing and rehabilitation home before, and that brings up concerns. He was difficult to control. Uh, he was lashing out. Vladdy is, is, uh, is a strong-willed person. I mean, you could see that on the ice. Will he end up in a nursing home? Will he end up warehouse somewhere instead of thriving? He's losing his humanity. And there's no excuse for it. We don't need anything bad to happen to Vladdy. We want to protect him. This law needs to be changed, and it needs to be changed now. There are some efforts to undo the 45% cut. Shelby Township Republican State Representative Doug Wozniak has introduced a bill to do just that. If you have an opinion on what you think should happen, now's the time to contact your lawmakers and the governor. Kim Russell, 7 Action News. Yeah, and you never know how it feels until it happens to your family. Thank you so much, Kim. You can find a link to the proposed bill. Also, our in-depth coverage of this law change. Plus, read more details about how it has impacted Konstantinov's caregivers and information on how to contact your representatives in Lansing at WXYZ.com.